Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can make this uh, parametric structure. Uh, as you see here, this is the first radius, which I'm going to explain, and the second radius, which can control the shape. We can scale it in the Z direction. Control how many ribs we want. The twist angle, if I put it to zero, it's obviously going to be a simple structure. Uh, the rotate strips is how much we want to make the strips thickness, width, and thickness. Okay. Then uh, we can define how much division we want and division of the glasses. So here you can see we can increase that too. Or the blue parts and then we can define how much we want to delete it so if i put it to zero percent it's completely going to be a closed structure and if i increase that that's going to be for example 50 percent and make it like that okay uh, we have also a point for cutting that's also possible and if I want to, I can bake the meshes of the ribs. This is going to be the ribs. And also, if I want to, I can have the glasses as an output here, which is obviously going to be at the connection between them. It's going to be something like that. You can make them in different layers and extract that as a mesh. So this tutorial is going to help you learn step by step of managing meshes, especially of how we can delete a series of ribs based on percentage, which is important. And the good thing is this mesh is completely snapped at the edge of the ribs. So you can use that further in other simulations or something like that. And also we can control the number of rib counts, uh, the plane, which is also... Control the shape, the radius, two radiuses, which is going to control the shape and the height. Again, I can cut this up and make it like that. And uh, that's going to help you to understand how to manage meshes. And we're going to talk about some cool techniques to create these uh, meshes and extract uh, how many faces we want and deleting the percentage, which is really important. I'm going to talk about that and create the final results. Okay, let's get started from scratch and learn this step by step. 